All right, so these are the notes for week two. Um, we are starting with slope and y-intercept. First of all, the slope, um, that is the steepness of a line. More importantly, we talk about it as the change in y compared to the change in x. So it is rise over run, which also means the change in y over the change in x, which we've talked about in our input-output tables already. The y-intercept is where x equals 0. Where x equals 0, that's where it crosses the y-axis on a graph. I'll show you what these two look like. So slope is the change in y over the change in X. That's what this little symbol is being used for, the word change. In other words, the difference, right? All right, so now um, there are four general slopes. We have a positive slope. And if you look, we read everything left to right. So if we're reading this line, it's going up. From left to right, it's increasing, so it's positive. This one, from left to right, it's going downward, so that is a negative slope. This one is neither increasing nor decreasing, so it's what we call zero. And finally, this vertical line that goes straight up and down, there's not a number to represent it, so we call it undefined. Because if we were trying to count the rise over the run, um, it would be a number divided by zero, and that's undefined. We can't do that. Okay, so now looking at our graphs. So we have water used in gallons, and we're counting the time in minutes. And you see they've given us a few different points scattered on the line here. Notice that this line does go through the origin, 0, 0. If the graph starts at 0, 0, then it's what we call proportional. So if it goes through anywhere else besides the origin, it's called non-proportional. It's like, kind of like linear and non-linear. Okay, so on this one, if we count the rise and run, we're talking about from one point to the next, how far up and over. So how far up, and we're counting the length of the boxes, how far up is this increasing? Five. And it's, so up five, and how far over? Two. One. One. Now, you might be wondering, well, where did he get five from? So they labeled every tenth interval, but halfway in between zero and ten is what? Five. five. So really, those hash marks are intervals of five. Yeah. So if you go up one length, that's five. But then if you look at the bottom, the minutes are actually counting by ones. So it's up five over one. So on our slope, a rise of five and a run of one. Well, five over one is just the whole, num uh, whole number of five, right? We could write five X plus zero because we're showing that it's going through the origin and zero is for the origin. But also, we could just write y equals 5x. We don't need to write the plus 0. Okay? Um, I want to point out a few other times. If you, let's say you don't pick these first two points to count up 5 over 1. Let's say you pick this other set of points here from this point to this point. Well, if it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4 lengths, that's 4 times 5, right? which is 20, and then it goes over 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, that's a rise of 20 and a run of 4, but 20 over 4 is equal to what? 5. So it doesn't matter what points you choose to go from to count rise to run, you're going to get the same number. It's a lot like whenever we talk about constant rate in our tables, if it's linear, you're going to get the same number. All right. 
looking at this bottom half, to find slope when it's not proportional. Okay, so you need to find two points. Find two points on the graph, and I mean whole number points, just like when we were counting, um, looking at graphs and trying to find the unit rate. Okay, so let's find two points on this graph. I see a whole point here because it crosses at the corners. I'm gonna follow it. There's a point here. There's a point here I can use. I only need two of them though, right? Okay, so now, first of all, looking at this line, is it increasing or decreasing from left to right? Decreasing. It is decreasing, which means it's what type of slope? Negative. It's a negative slope. So now, this it's not showing us any numbers, so we're gonna assume that they're counting by ones. Our rise and run for this one, just show me the stair step to it, how far down and how far over. How far down is this from this point? And how far over is it? Two. Two. And it, it should repeat that pattern the whole way down it, right? Okay, so find two points, make a slope triangle, that's what that stair step is. You want to do your rise over run. So your rise over run fraction is 3 over 2. And this one we said was negative. 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 So the slope for this is 3 over 2. Now, if we were putting this in the calculator, it would give us 1.5. But we like to keep our slope and fraction form because it's describing to us what is happening here with these slope triangles.